Welcome back. In video 7, we will be preparing the adjusted trial balance. Steps for preparing the adjusted trial balance is identical to steps discussed in video 5. After adjusting entries are posted to the general ledger, another trial balance should be prepared titled Adjusted Trial Balance to ensure that the company's books are in balance. The balances for the adjusted trial balance is pulled from the updated general ledger and financial statements can be prepared directly from this trial balance. Here is the trial balance before adjustments. Here is adjusted entry 1 which is for depreci one month depreciation expense. Notice each debit and credit is transferred individually to their respective general ledger account. So here we see the debit of 119.05 being entered in the depreciation expense account, uh, resulting in a balance also of 119.05. Similarly, the credit is entered in the accumulated depreciation account and the general ledger account after the posting is also 119.05. In the general ledger there is a cross-reference J2 in each of the general ledger reference column that points back to the page in the general journal from which the debit and credit was transferred. Similarly, in the general journal posted reference column, after each debit and credit have been entered or posted to the general ledger, the general ledger account number is entered in the posted reference column of the general journal. Adjusting entry number two. This entry records office supplies used during November. Again, the debit for office supplies expense is entered in the general ledger account 705. Notice a general ledger account 705 is entered in the posting reference column of the general journal. At the same time, in the general ledger, in the reference column, there is a J2 reference pointing back to page 2 of the journal. Office supplies is credited for 350 so you can see the credit being posted into the general ledger account and now the balance in office supplies drops to 650 here is adjusting entry number 3 which records insurance expense expired during November again the debit for it to insurance expense is entered in the general ledger account number 720 and the balance after posting in the ledger is $37.50 debit. The credit to prepaid insurance is entered in the credit column of the general of general ledger account number 135 bringing the new balance in prepaid insurance to $862 and 50 cents debit. Here is entry number four. Uh, this entry accrues revenue for November. In the accounts receivable general ledger account 110 we see a debit entry for 500 bringing our accounts receivable balance to 1900 debit. In the design fees account general ledger 400 we see a credit posting of 500 bringing the new balance to 4700 credit. Here is adjusting entry 5 to accrue utilities expense for November. In the general ledger utility expense account 740 we see a debit posting of 100 and a balance of a hundred dollar debit. In the general ledger accounts payable account number 200 we see a credit posting of a hundred dollar and a new balance of five hundred dollar credit. 
Entry number six, to accrue salaries and wages expense. In the salaries and wages expense account, we see a debit posting of 750, bringing the total salaries and wages expense balance to 1,500 debit. In the salaries and wages payable account, number 245, we see a credit posting of 750, giving us a balance in the salaries and wages payable account of 750 credit. Okay, now let's take a look at the end and balances of the general ledger accounts after adjustments. Here we see the general ledger page for cash account 101. The balance of 13,200 debit is entered in the debit column of the adjusted trial balance. The debit balance for accounts receivable, 1900. Office supplies, 650. Prepaid insurance, 862.50, are entered in the debit column of the adjusted trial balance. The balance of equipment, 10,000 debit. Accumulated depreciation, 119.05 credit. And accounts payable, 500 credit are entered in the appropriate column of the adjusted trial balance. The balance of salaries and wages payable, 750 credit. Minnelli Capital, 25,000 credit. Minnelli Withdrawal, 1,500 debit are entered in the appropriate column of the adjusted trial balance. The balance of design fees, 4,700 credit. Office supplies expense, 350 debit. Depreciation expense, 119.05 debit, are entered in the appropriate column of the adjusted trial balance. The debit balances for insurance expense, 3750. Salaries and wages expense, 1,500. Rent expense, 850. And utility expense, 100 are entered in the debit column of the adjusted trial balance. And here is the completed adjusted trial balance. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. The next step in the accounting cycle is the preparation of financial statements. To learn how to prepare an income statement using the adjusted trial balance, go to video.